The last thing I wanted to do was go to a festival. You know, I'd been hearing about Burning Man for many years and all of that, and you're not going to get me in my snake skin boots and my Ralph Lauren sweater rolling up in a dusty ass fucking desert location. You know, I'm, are you kidding me? But anyway, my first sort of involvement in, in that kind of stuff was visiting the summer fairs and festivals in England. There was no, no electronic music. It would all be folk music. It would be home-brewed beer, home-grown marijuana. That kind of stuff, but with music and dancing and stuff like that. And that gradually sort of morphed into, you know, next thing someone would show up with a reggae sound system. Coachella was something that was happening and something that I'd heard about and I'd seen some pictures and it, and it seemed like like very well manicured, you know, it's spectacular. Feeling, you start to feel nauseous, you know you're in the presence of something, you know, so that, that, that's probably quite special. I was hoping that I'd be playing to some new people and make some converts to DJ Harvey and be like, okay, this is this is my take on on some of the dance music scene and I hope people like me. Me. No, I I really care, kids. which had a, a wooden dance floor and an air-conditioned environment with a nice mirror balls and light show going and it was probably the only environment that had a line to get in. You could wander by everywhere else. You couldn't wander by the Yuma tent. You had to have a serious intention of wanting to be in there. No one was in there by accident. That made for an intensity within the room. It's like, we're here, we've just lined up for 25 minutes away and we are gonna have a damn good time and party down. I think those that have not experienced the power of dancing underestimate really what it does. You know, you have a congregation and you have a doctrine of celebrating life. You know, through the dance and the trance, and that ends up, it's, it, you know, it's a version of foreplay, it ends up in procreation. You look at people gyrating, and, it, and magical things happen. I deal in frequencies and vibrations, and very high frequencies are light and colours, and then it comes down through, like, rhythm and trance, and it ends up in heartbeats. There isn't a spiritual bone in my body, by the way. I think that consciousness is a byproduct of electrochemical reaction in, in the brain. But you can tap into that stuff, the sort of symbiotic wobble that makes you feel really, really good. And you don't have to be on drugs, you know. All of a sudden, you start to feel wonderful. wonderful.